Welcome back to the channel. My name is Cody. Wow. Welcome back to the channel. It's totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction. If you're new here, my name is Cody and I do reactions to movies and TV shows. Sometimes try not to laugh challenges if I'm up for it. Might be adding that to the whole entire thing going on. But today we're going to be watching the last part of season three for The Big Bang Theory, okay? This is going to be amazing. I'm excited for this just because a lot of you have really been hyping me up during this show and it's just so much fun to really connect with you guys on a different level watching this and experiencing it and everything else and just enjoying the journey. So we're going to go ahead and continue with that. If you'd like to watch my full length reaction to The Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch a TV show together. Let's continue The Big Bang Theory. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What? I was going to get my mail. Okay. So go are, get it. Are you hoping to get it telepathically? <laughs> I think you mean telekinetically. Well, same thing, yeah. No. Or no, it's not the same the thing. Protocol. You see each other all the time. Uh, very <laughs> much has changed is the coitus. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are still friends, and you stop saying coitus. Good. I'm glad we're still friends. Hey, Sheldon just calls it how it is. Do I have to stop saying coitus with everyone, or just you? Everyone. <laughs> Harsh terms, but all right. I'll just substitute intercourse. So, how you been? Well, my existence is a continuum, so I've been what I am at each point in the implied time period. <laughs> How's Leonard doing? He seems all right. Although he does spend a disturbing amount of time looking at photographs of you and smelling the pillow you slept on. Oh my God. Don't be revealing he that. He asked me not to tell you that. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear it. <laughs> I'd rather you pretend I didn't say it. <laughs> that's the sauce my mother uses. She likes cooking Italian because according to her, that's what the Romans made Jesus eat. <laughs> Interesting. I'll have to have you over for spaghetti some night. Is that true? Like, I need to know. Is that true? Will you cut up hot dogs into little chunks and mix them in with the sauce? <laughs> I don't have hot dogs. Oh, it's all right. I do. Oh, you're in for what my mother calls a real Italian treat. <laughs> I was talking with Penny. Uh-oh. What's wrong with you? You can't hang out with your roommate's ex. It's totally uncool. No, it's fine. I don't care. I'm over it. Memory wiper gizmo for men in black. <laughs> <laughs> Is he making any progress? Because I'd like to erase Ben Affleck as Daredevil. Oh my god, I think everybody would. <laughs> so would Ben Affleck. <laughs> The point is, in a situation like this, you gotta pick sides. You're either on Team Leonard or Team Penny. Well, why does there have to be a Which side? Which one picks last? Sheldon, I got you your tangerine chicken. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> well, of course I'm hungry. Uh-oh. As I have no plans to eat with any other team, I will consume my tangerine chicken with the appropriate gusto. Oh, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> oh, no. Just making dinner conversation. Go Team Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> State. Do you believe you're going to go to hell for eating sweet and sour pork? No. <laughs> Jews don't have hell. We have acid reflux. <laughs> you want the last dumpling, Sheldon? Oh, God. Certainly. 18 overweight women flapping their arm fat in a swimming pool. <laughs> it's like the manatee tank at SeaWorld. I'm so glad that you put that picture in my head now, Howard. Please, we all know I'm the friend you call when you have no other options. Oh if my god. In Justice League, I'd be Aquaman. <laughs> I wish you were Aquaman. Then I could send you to scoop my mom. Speaking of Aquaman, get ready everybody, because I haven't seen any of the DC movies besides the Dark Knight trilogy, so you're in for a treat, because starting soon, we got that coming. You know what, I'll just spend the evening alone. What, Sonny, I'm not good enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> ah. You're trying way now too I think hard. I'll take my after dinner walk. <laughs> Since when do you take after dinner walks? Since when do you take walks? <laughs> There's one thing I like more than a refreshing beverage. It's serotonin. Bye bye. <laughs> Hold on, I'll walk down with you. Oh, well, that's not necessary. You can go first. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed you. <laughs> no. 
I will say this. Raj is probably one of the underappreciated characters that I am loving to acknowledge. I didn't say outside. <laughs> so what, you're just going to walk up and down the stairs? Yes. No, of course not. <laughs> that would be odd and suspicious behavior. <laughs> I parked my scooter down the block. I'm going the other way. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, actually, I'm this way. <laughs> smell raw hot dog. <laughs> After getting a brain tumor. Oh my god. All right. Have a nice walk. I shall. Have a nice scoot. <laughs> Hello, doggy. Oh nice god. Doggy. Oh god, it's my boyfriend's dog. I bet she thinks you smell hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a cat. <laughs> oh no, Sheldon. Run. Next thing you know, the dog is going to be barking bazinga. Penny. There it is. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god! <laughs> I had to trade the others for my life. <laughs> hey, Leonard? Yeah. I haven't had sex in a year. Oh my god. Where are you going with this? Is he in Sheldon's spot right now? Uh, next to you, I look like a catch. Oh my god! <laughs> Not going out tonight, Raj. All right. Would you mind if I went to your room and downloaded some Asian pornography? Don't worry, you'll meet a girl someday. No, I won't. Yes, you will, and she'll be beautiful. And kind, and sexy, and funny, and everything you ever wanted in a woman. Are you really will he? So? I do. She'll take it, <laughs> grind it into pathetic... There it pieces. is. There it is. <laughs> I knew it was coming. You sex first, right? Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> That's Italian. <laughs> Was Leonard okay with you coming over? Oh, yeah. He doesn't know. In fact, he <laughs> said, I'm fine. I don't care. He's all cried out over you. He's been crying? Oh, I believe that was something else I wasn't supposed to mention. <laughs> God, I feel terrible. Well, my new shoes are not made for running. Have you been running? From a no. dog. <laughs> It's just a suspicion I have. You know, Leonard never cooks for me. Well, maybe that's because Leonard can't cook. You can't cook, and you made me this. Oh, my. Whatever. Oh, let me get the cheesecake out of the fridge. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Martha Stewart never got naked with a room full of big, fat Japanese gods. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't know that. <laughs> Prison changes people. <laughs> I told you, walking. For an hour and a half? I got lost. <laughs> How could you get lost? Your phone has GPS. Satellites are down, solar flares. Dude, I'm an astrophysicist. If there were solar flares, I'd be all up in it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I misspoke. What I meant to say was, my battery died. Do you think this is really Hillary Clinton doing it with Oprah? Stop it. Oh, we really need to get you a girl. <laughs> I like how he's just doing that with Leonard in the room. Like, Leonard, thanks for seeing me on such short notice. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what do you want, Sheldon? Maybe oh this isn't a good time. Tell me why you woke me up or I swear to God I will kill you. <laughs> do you want oh. you may want to sit down <laughs> i'm in bed point taken you may want to sit up Shall in! <laughs> <laughs> yeah now he's gonna sit up oh no okay <laughs> when you say seeing penny what exactly does that mean she made me spaghetti with little hot dogs cut up in it. Well, it's a little hot dog. I gave up the other five hot dogs to a real dog. <laughs> a big dog. A hellhound. It's tangential to the primary story. How about I circle back to it? Why did you have dinner with Penny? I told you she made spaghetti with little hot dogs. I like spaghetti with little hot dogs. <laughs> then why did you have Chinese food with us? I didn't want to upset you. My allegiance should be to male comrades before women who sell their bodies for money. Is it possible he said bros before hoes? 
Yes, but I rephrased it to avoid offending the hose. <laughs> I don't care if you want to be friends with Penny. Oh. Well, so the emotional turmoil that has been keeping me from achieving REM sleep was entirely unjustified? <laughs> yes. As my meme all would say, looks like we butchered a pig, but nobody wanted bacon. I guess not. That's great. And now, as promised, the tangent. Sheldon and the Hellhound, or How I Lost My Hot Dogs. We're neighbors. We're gonna run into each other. May as well get used to it. Yeah, I guess you're right. I feel bad for both of them, because I think... You used to it yet? No. Nope. Me neither. <laughs> His mother called me. What? His mother? Yeah, she wants me to take him shopping for sheets and towels. Why? I was gonna do that. You can take him for <laughs> shoes. I just took him for shoes. Well, all I know is he says they hurt his feet. <laughs> I'll take him for shoes next Saturday. The comedy genius of writing this and the fact that, like, Leonard and Penny are basically his parents, this is great. But let me know if you're gonna stuff him with junk food. I don't want to bring home a nice dinner for him and see it go to waste. <laughs> We're going to Disneyland. He's going to eat junk food. Don't let him go on Space Mountain after he eats. They'll say he can handle it, but I promise you'll end up with churro puke on your shoes. <laughs> All right, got it. Is there anything else? Yeah, uh, don't let Goofy near him. He'll have nightmares and I'll have what? to deal with it. Wish I knew he's fine with Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dynamics is great. <laughs> It's 10 o'clock. Where have you been? We stayed for the California Adventure Water Show. It was pure <laughs> Disney magic. Sheldon. I was going to see that with him. I have food here. You said you were going to call. I know, I know. I can still eat. No, you already threw up once. Go put on your PJs and brush your teeth. <laughs> oh, my God. This is really like divorced Just parents. This is we're a lot. Fighting. Just go. Aren't you going to thank Penny for taking you to Disneyland? Thank you, Penny. <laughs> 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 Want a cup of coffee? Oh, um, I should probably get going. Howard. <laughs> well, yeah, the whole thing seems a little twisted to me, too. <laughs> what am I smelling? Sheldon's churro on my shoes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Such an angel when he's asleep. Yeah. Shame he has to wake up. <laughs> Smother Sheldon in his sleep, wouldn't that be wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, we would be friends, you and me. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Mm. Friends who have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Leonard. <laughs> Kidding. Just a couple of friends goofing around. <laughs> Goofy, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god what explain your sneeze i'm sorry do you have allergies no is there too much pepper on your salad i don't put pepper on salads i've heard enough sit over there you say non-related female you still mean human right <laughs> Of course. Pets are banned under the roommate agreement, with the exception of service animals, such as seeing eye dogs and one day cybernetically enhanced helper monkeys. Information, I'll be playing host to Dr. Elizabeth Plimpton. The cosmological Who is that? physicist from Princeton? Yes. And until you acquire a surgical mask, please address your comments to me through a napkin. <laughs> We've been corresponding <laughs> for years. Why didn't you tell me you knew Elizabeth Plimpton? I am a huge fan of hers. I didn't realize I was obligated to share my connection with things you're a fan of. But very well. You enjoy Canadian bacon? I've been to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> I have a two-part question. Go ahead. A, are you kidding me? And B, seriously, are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding, kidding me? <laughs> a, I rarely kid. And B, when I do kid, you will know it by my use of the word bazinga. Literally. Two of you are going to be sleeping in the same bed. Yes. Bazinga. <laughs> <laughs> so then where's Sheldon going to sleep? On Let the me? couch? All right, I believe I have time for one more question. <clears throat> yes, Roger. 
When can I sit with you again? When I've seen two consecutive negative throat cultures spaced 12 hours apart. You know the drill. All right. What does that even Excuse mean? Me? I can't believe he's friends with Elizabeth Plimpton. I can't believe they <laughs> let him into Canada. <laughs> oh, you heard the man. Where's your throat cultures? I'm kidding. Sit down. <laughs> I have a question about these maxi pads. Are the wings truly functional, or have I fallen victim to marketing hype? What? Why do you Do have those? What? Oh, for her? For the stock boy at Walgreens was frustratingly uninformed on the subject. I have a lady friend who will be staying with me for a few days. <laughs> oh, it's the way he words what? it. I want her to feel at home. I also bought scented soaps, pantyhose, Midol, calcium chews. Midol? Apparently a yogurt specifically designed to regulate the female bowel. And stay with you? Yes. yes. Why does that seem to flabbergast everybody? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry, my dog. Puzzled. Go lay down. A word of warning, my guest <laughs> is this mud mass gossip about your friends, Brad and Angelina. Who the hell is Brad and Angelina? No, they're not my friends. I'm not surprised, considering what you talk about them behind their backs. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Leonard, those pants Please, don't match that jacket. You. I'm coming. Now listen. One of the great minds of the 21st century is about to play host to one of the other great minds of the 21st century. <laughs> so pay attention. <sighs> Dr. Cooper, thank goodness I completely... Isn't that the woman contract. that plays Karen in Halloween? I remembered that I'd written it on my hand. <laughs> Lucky for me, I didn't confuse it with what I'd written on my other hand, which are the coordinates for a newly discovered neutron star, because if I tried to go there, I'd be crushed by hypergravity. Nice to finally <laughs> meet you in person. I would imagine it is. <laughs> That is so conceited. This is my friend and roommate, Dr. Leonard Hofstadter. Hi, hello. Uh, uh, oops. I, I started to say hi, and then I switched to hello in the middle. It came out high low. You're brilliant. I apologize. He's only an experimental physicist. No need to apologize. Some of my best friends are experimental physicists. Well, not my best friends, but I know them. My best friend is a molecular chemist named Wendy. Hi, Lo. <laughs> Hi, Lo. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that from now on. She's my guest. If anyone should offer her anything, it should be me. Elizabeth, can I get you something? Look, it's you. <laughs> Thank you so much for opening up your home to me. Uh, well, who wants to stay in a hotel? Any university would want you. Except, of course, any university that had already had you, because uh, they would have already wanted you before they, you know, got you. Leonard, you're being too much. From the mind that brought you high low. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm smart. <laughs> Sheldon! Get it together, man. <laughs> Never thought I'd see Sheldon teach Leonard about social skills. Open, closed, open, closed, halfway open, or halfway closed, depending on your philosophical bent. Eight day supply of food and water, a crossbow, season two of Star Trek, the original series, on a high density <laughs> flash drive. What if there's a disaster that destroys all the USB ports? Then there's really no reason to live, is there? <laughs> Can I ask you a question about your roommate? What's his relationship status? Well, oh. there was a misbegotten adventure with a waitress who lives across the hall. It ended as inexplicably as it began. They had very little in common except for carnal activity. That's why I acquired these noise-canceling headphones. They're in the drawer labeled... <laughs> the Legolas statue is sending me away. Good. I'll leave you to your nighttime ablutions. I've emailed you the morning bathroom schedule. You'll also find a laminated copy in your welcome packet. Oh, let me just get one thing. It's my backup emergency supply kit. Okay. The living room escape route doesn't pass through here. Now, <laughs> good night. And if there's an apocalypse, good luck. Is everything all right? Yeah, I just couldn't sleep. Me neither. <clears throat> oh, look what I'm reading. It's you. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> I thought you already read it. I did, but it's been a while, and I wanted to sound smart over breakfast. Oh, well, you're smart. She's definitely good. gonna go I'm out sure with him. Across. What chapter are you on? Uh, six. 
Oh, the extra galactic distance ladder. Want to know a little secret? Sure. I wrote the section on the Wilson Bapu effect completely naked. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Uh, it sure doesn't read that way. <laughs> Here, consider the brightness of pulsating variable stars. We start to see a possible explanation for some of the discrepancies in <laughs> Hubble's constant. Wow. Science come alive. <laughs> Why did he wake up like that? That was weird. <laughs> I don't want to ever see that again. Vocal test, morning vocal test. Mm. Second vocal test, second morning vocal test. Morning, Sheldon. Morning. Morning, Sheldon. Morning. I trust you had a pleasant night. P for Houston, P for Austin, P for the state my heart got lost in. What the hell? What kind of Texas standard is that? Oh my god. That's very thoughtful, but I think I'll finish my coffee first. Ah, oh, so the yogurt didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fire off a critical email to the manufacturer. My car won't start. I need a ride to work. Did you once again ignore your check engine light? No, Mr. <laughs> Smarty Pants. I ignored the fill gas tank light. <laughs> Leonard Penny wants to exploit any residual feelings you have for her in order to get a ride to work. Hello. Hi. Oh, Penny, this is Dr. Plimpton, a leading expert on quantum cosmology. Dr. Plimpton, Penny is a waitress who doesn't understand the role gasoline plays in the internal combustion engine. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I wonder that's how that works. Enjoying your stay? Yes. Very much. A wonderful, meaningless pleasantries accomplished. Elizabeth, Leonard's bathroom time is coming up, and believe me, you do not want to follow him. <laughs> Hang on. Hmm? Yeah, what, huh? We just broke up. Well, uh, you and me? Yeah, we did not too long ago. How you doing with it? <laughs> oh, no. I'm not as good as you, apparently. I, I'm, I don't follow. You know what? It's none of my business. If you want to sleep with Sheldon's doctor buddy right after we stop seeing each other, Go for it. I'm not recommending it. I'm saying it already happened. Oh, that's preposterous. Yeah. Tell her, Leonard. Well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no. It <laughs> wasn't my fault. I'm just going to take the bus to work. No, but I can still drive you. Oh, no, no, it's OK. You might slip on a banana peel and get me pregnant. Oh, my god. Well, I must say, I'm shocked by this betrayal. I didn't betray Penny. Not Penny, me. Elizabeth's my friend, and you're playing with her. I will say this, though. Penny doesn't have a right to be mad about it because she is the only... Is She's the one that didn't say I love you back. Like, they broke up because Penny felt bad for it. So, like, she has no right to have any underlining reasons to feel bad about it. Like, to feel bad that Leonard's doing that. We all deal with breakups in our own ways, and it's not their problem. Well, I was awake all night. <laughs> if you want, I can give you some of my mom's sleeping pills. No, you guys aren't following. She it's okay. She missing? Oh, she doesn't know. She takes something else keeping me up last night. And again this morning. And I didn't mind. I was up this morning. I didn't mind. Those are your clues. That's literally something that Howard would say. How is he not picking up on this? Dr. Plimpton, I'd like you to meet my colleagues, Dr. Rajesh Kutrapali and Hi. not a Dr. Howard Wallowitz. <laughs> I'm a big fan of your work. Thank you. And of course you've already- Oh yeah, he's like sort of drunk. Dr. Hofstadter. Dear, get me a cup of coffee. Sure. Black, right? Actually, now I think I want it hot, brown, and sweet. Oh, no. She is making the rounds. This is not okay. It's Halo night. Uh, I can't. I'm too sick. <clears throat> Go away. That's why we moved Halo night here. Look, I brought my mom's chicken soup. I'm not hungry. Don't send him away. Let him in. Oh, no. I bought a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> That a parent Chef would say that. Hi, Howard, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, Can God. I ask you a question, Howard? Uh-oh, here we go. Do you like role-playing games? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Tonight, you 
are a delivery man. You brought soup, but uh-oh, Raj and I don't have enough money to pay you, so we'll have to come to some other kind of arrangement. Oh, God. <laughs> Raj's face just says it all. Figure out the details. I'm gonna go change into something I don't mind getting ripped off my milky flesh. <laughs> what the frack? <laughs> Go away! She wants New Delhi, not Kosher Delhi. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh good, Leonard's here! Good. Oh my god. <laughs> Elizabeth, what's going on? What's going on is you and Howard are my moving men, and Raj is my new landlord, and I don't have enough money to pay any of you. Oh my god. Is she suggesting what I think she's suggesting? Yup. Welcome to the penthouse forum. <laughs> okay, show of hands, who's up for this? <laughs> Leonard. We'll be naked in front of each other. I'm out. <laughs> Follow my lead. <laughs> Almost. Uh, we're going to go out into the hallway and uh, make a dramatic entrance. Oh, good. It's so much better when everyone commits. Run, 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 run. Don't look back. Thought we had something special. Nope, he's going to shut the door. So you say you can't pay your rent. <laughs> 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 I found these in the dryer. I'm assuming they belong to Sheldon. Oh my god. Thanks. It's really hard to find these in his size. <laughs> so, uh, listen, I've been meaning to talk to you about the other morning. You mean you and Dr. Slut Bunny? Oh my god. Uh, nevertheless, I'd like to get one on the record so you can understand why I did what I did. I'm listening. He doesn't have one. <laughs> he doesn't have one. <laughs> she let me. <laughs> okay, baby doll pink. Let's see if you can cover up the fact that I got my dad's feet. <laughs> <laughs> what? Two degrees, Sheldon. I just want to turn up the thermostat two degrees. Let me point out that two degrees can be the difference between water and screw the roommate agreement. No, you don't screw the roommate agreement. I'm the like, roommate agreement screws you. Wow, Sheldon's really mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> can I sleep on your couch tonight? Uh, well, you can try, but the people across the hall are being very noisy. <laughs> heard that, huh? Apparently, the one fella tried to adjust the thermostat, then the other fella went bat crap crazy. <laughs> so you agree he's nuts? Well, not as nuts as the guy who chooses to live with him. So naive. <laughs> Just like I was seven years ago. Oh no, we're getting a flashback? Just started at the university. <laughs> It was like Bob Ross. <laughs> like, I bet you're here to check out the room for rent. Yeah. He plays. Run away, dude. <laughs> Yo, he plays um, Glenn on Walking Run Dead. Fast. Run far. Which don't spoil anything in the video. Hold clue. on. Don't spoil anything about the Walking Dead after I just said that because let me tell you, Walking Dead is making a comeback on my Patreon and on my channel. It's gonna be starting next year. Okay, next year. When Big Bang Theory is done and we have young Sheldon started, um, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing, uh, Walking Dead as well. So another long show. So don't spoil anything for me. I know the show is on its like final season and I haven't even started it. Well, I have actually, there's like six episodes on my Patreon, but we're going to be getting those started here soon. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's where that's at. But let's continue. Sorry. <laughs> Just wanted to put that out there. Please don't comment anything about The Walking Dead. For all I knew, he was the crazy one. <laughs> he had this really deranged look. <laughs> yeah, you've been living with Sheldon. <laughs> sure, it makes sense now. <laughs> oh! They talked about this in the first episode. Dr. Cooper? No, you want the crazy guy across the hall. Yeah, they talked about the well, transgender that person that was, that was living across two. the hallway. I say transgender because I refuse to call them what they used in the first episode of the show. I know what you said. I know what my mother said on March 5th, 1992. What the hell? What is the sixth noble gas? What? You said you're a scientist. What is the sixth noble gas? Uh, radon? Next question. Kirk or Picard? Oh my god. Oh, uh, well, that's tricky. Is that Star Trek? Um, 
uh, original series over Next Generation, but Picard over Kirk. Correct. <laughs> You've passed the first barrier to roommatehood. You may enter. Oh, this is pretty nice. Oh my god. There's like nothing in here. Where's the couch? Uh, the bedrooms are back there? That depends. I don't understand. Their, their existence is conditional. <laughs> <laughs> but your ability to perceive their existence is conditional on you passing the second and third barriers. Oh my god. No, that's where I sit. <laughs> What's the difference? This seat is ideally located both in relation to the heat source in the winter and a cross breeze in the summer. You said on the phone that your area of study is physics. Uh, yeah, experimental physics. Hmm. <laughs> what is that? Doesn't concern you. <clears throat> You'll be going to the university every day. Uh, yes. And you have a vehicle? A car, yeah. And you'd be willing to drive me? Last question. In a post apocalyptic world, which task would you assign the highest priority? <laughs> Here Locating we go. A sustainable food source, re establishing a functioning government, procreating, or preserving the knowledge of mankind? Um. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, preserving the knowledge. That's correct. I passed the barriers. <laughs> the second barrier. Don't get cocky. <laughs> This is the bathroom. Are you fairly regular? What does that mean? Uh, I guess. This isn't going to work if you're guessing. When I have to. When you have to? I'm sorry, I don't rent to hippies. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, um, in the morning, around eight. You have won the right to see your room. Huzzah. Oh my God. Huzzah. <laughs> <laughs> is this it? No, this is my room. People don't go in my room. Uh, no, uh, if people don't go in there and you're people, you are people, aren't you? <laughs> How in the hell did Leonard actually want to go and be a roommate with him after this encounter? Like, this would have been it for me. I would have been red flag. <laughs> well, you pissed Glenn off. You may want to repaint. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, you just moved in? Literally. No, I didn't just move in. First, we had to iron out a few details. Roommates like what? agree that Friday nights shall be reserved for watching Joss Whedon's brilliant new series, Firefly. All right. That's television and movies. Oh, my God. Um, section 9, miscellany. <clears throat> the apartment's flag is a gold lion rampant on a field of azure. <laughs> Never fly it upside down. <laughs> Unless the apartment's in distress. <laughs> and next, if either of us ever invents time travel, we agree our first stop will be this meeting today in precisely five seconds. <laughs> Aries, lay down. Disappointing. Good boy. Why on earth did you agree to all that? Well, it was the best apartment I'd seen. The rent was very reasonable. Oh, I can't. I can't take this seriously. Look at this. My dog, he's just, he's just laying there staring at me. What is wrong with me? Like, <laughs> my dog is staring. He's silently judging me. That's the thing. My dog will not bite you. He will judge you. That is that is different. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm having too much fun. I'm sorry, Leonard. It's very hard to feel sympathy for you. Okay, how about this? Let me tell you about the first time I brought a girl over. Oh, God. Leonard. Shh, just pretend we're not here. Leonard. 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 What do you want? Yep, there's the three. I didn't say come in. You asked what I wanted. He wants I to, want come, to in. come in. <laughs> She'll give each other 12 hours notice of impending coitus. Oh my god. I didn't even know her 12 hours ago. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. But rejoice, come on. 12 hours? Oh my god. Yeah. Get some sympathy now. A little bit. <laughs> you sign a ridiculous roommate agreement. <laughs> and now and he's you paying your toenails. While you're doing this, Joyce Kim, and you still stay. Actually, I couldn't get too mad at him about Joyce Kim. Why not? Well, I was doing some government research at the time. You know, military rocket fuel is kind of secret. As it turns um. out, she was a North Korean spy. <laughs> oh. The defector. Luckily, Sheldon drove her out before I revealed anything important, which I, I'm not saying I would have. 
So but that's it. You stay with Sheldon all this. It's funny how all the stuff that they talked about in the beginning of the show, like it's all coming out in this episode now. Oh God. <laughs> Look at the two of them. <laughs> what is going on here? Hey, Sheldon, this is Howard and Raj. They work at the university, too. Hey, hey. Explain the couch. Uh, oh, well, there were some people on the first floor moving out, and they sold it to me for $100. Howard and Raj helped me bring it up. But what's wrong with the furniture we have? They're lawn chairs. <laughs> and there was no place for company. But you didn't notify me by email, so this is still a breach. I did notify you. D oh, you did, did you? Yes. Oh my god. Okay, what does all this have to do with the elevator? Well, I'm getting to it. Yeah. I assure you, you'll be sorry you wasted your money on an iPod when Microsoft comes out with theirs. Now. Ooh, it's time for Babylon 5. We don't watch Babylon 5 in this apartment. Why not? Because it... no one likes Babylon 5. What? I like it? Me too. So do I. There you go, three against one. They don't get a vote. It's one against one. And according to the roommate agreement, all ties will be settled by me. <laughs> I like how nobody else, I like how Sheldon's the only one that didn't I'm still look not different. Comfortable. Of course, there's too many people here. You're the guy we're trying to get away from. <laughs> oh. Well, in that case, I don't need my jacket. And for the record, the correct syntax is I'm the guy from whom you're trying to get away. Oh, yes. <laughs> and thus the seat has been this bored. It's definitely going to be my spot. <laughs> the okay, spot has been bored. said that, you left the room. Hey, do you want me to finish working on your man feet or not? <laughs> oh, my God. Play dates. I have colleagues. Do their parents know they're here? <laughs> no, but if you keep screaming, maybe they'll hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, is that a two-stage rocket? Oh, three. I designed the engine myself. God, <laughs> Howard's room is Ooh, big. Is Greek Mach 1? Oh, probably, if I could get my hands on that new fuel the government's been working on. Howard, what happened to the Oreos I left on the counter? Raj, Raj, hurry up, eat them. I have seen your Oreos. <laughs> oh, no. Take your bath without them. <laughs> what? Wait, back up. What? Mm, Joyce Kim was kind of curious about what I did for a living, and I was going <laughs> to show it to her. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not important. The point is, the guys and I went back to the apartment. Okay, are we ever going to get to the elevator? Yeah, we're really close. Uh, we're at the apartment. I've been working on this a long time. Trust me, it'll work. You don't see your mistake, do you? There's no mistake. This is for a full-scale <laughs> rocket, not a model. Hold on, f hold on for it. I've the formula. Not correctly. You might be an expert on theoretical physics and science fiction programs and where to sit on a freaking couch, but this is applied <laughs> physics. And when it comes to applied physics... Oh, God. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. A bad thing. A very bad thing. This is how they broke the elevator. <laughs> oh, no. They broke the elevator? Oh my god. I had plenty of time. Not only did Sheldon save my life, he didn't rat me out to the landlord. Or the police or homeland security. Okay, so basically you're the reason I have to walk up and down three flights of stairs every day. So I did something stupid. I'm sure you did stupid things when you were younger. What were you doing seven years ago? Studying, keeping my nose clean, doing volunteer work for the community. Oh my god. Not pregnant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I smell methacrylate? Uh, uh, oh my god. Nail polish. I had a mani pedi. <laughs> Men can get those. Yeah. I get them all anyway, the time. I may owe you an apology. There's doubt. <laughs> I did agree to the thermostat setting, and I shouldn't have tried to change it. I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> so we're good? Good what? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, if I watch some TV? Up next, Babylon 5. <laughs> oh, no. 
the PTSD came in. <laughs> I hardly call that dialogue. I'm insane, you know that? Don't make me turn that flag upside down, because you know I'll do it. Oh my god. <laughs> I should have brought an umbrella. <laughs> what for? It's not gonna rain. I know that, but with skin as fair as mine, moonburn is a real possibility. That's a bazinga, right? One of my best, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Look, look, at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's the face of judging. Can I help you? Aries. Can I help you? Do you, do you need something? Can I do something for you? <laughs> like... Why are you staring at me like this right now? Like, I am in the middle of something. Would you like to come join me? Come here. Come here. Come. You coming? No? Okay. He doesn't want to join me. He just wants to be a dick. <laughs> That's all he does. He just wants to be mean. I'm watching someone's TV. The Good Wife is on. I tell you, this is my new Grey's Anatomy. I let can't me, stand me, Grey's Anatomy. It, how on earth can you say dirty sock and relax in the same sentence? <laughs> Sheldon, the world is filled with dirty, discarded socks. Not my world. <laughs> Although I suppose the retro reflector left on the moon by Neil Armstrong does qualify as a shiny object. <laughs> Where are you asking to come up? I don't know. It's still a little weird since, you know, she dumped you. She didn't dump me. We were just in different places in the relationship. Leonard was living in a little town called Please Don't Leave Me, while Penny had just moved to the island of Bubai. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm gonna go see if she's home. Wait a second. The good wife is crying. <laughs> Something's very wrong. <laughs> the whole universe was in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago. Mystery unraveling the mystery that with a big bang. Hey. The doggo in the corner. He's still staring at me. I don't know why. We've got a two meter parabolic reflector and everything. I thought you might want to see it. That makes no sense. Oh no. How can you bounce stuff off the moon? There's no gravity. Uh, Leonard, this is Zach. Zach Leonard. The surprise part doesn't matter when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the right idea. He broke the code. Okay, well, yeah. Nope. I know it sounds easy, but there's a lot of science that goes into designing them. <laughs> Happy now, moving the Oh my god. <laughs> Is that the laser? It's bitching. <laughs> yes. In 1917, when Albert Einstein established the theoretic foundation for hope was that the resultant device be bitching. <laughs> Well, mission accomplished. Good job. Good job, Sheldon. <laughs> Let me explain what we're doing here. How can you be sure it won't blow up? The you know... Laser. The moon. <laughs> now this is a man for Penny. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a great question, Zach. That's no, terrible. Sheldon. Don't worry about the moon. We, we set our laser to stun. Smart. Now, we'll be able to see the beam when it leaves, but it won't be strong enough when it comes back to be seen by the naked eye. That device there will measure the photons that return and let us see it on this computer. Raj, get them some glasses. Cool, it's gonna be in 3D. I'm not even a scientist and I understand. Make it so. There it is, there's the spike. That's your big experiment? I'll have a line on the screen. Yeah, but uh, think about what this represents. The fact that we can do this is the only way of definitively proving that there are man-made objects on the moon. The years before, I just invented the airplane. What species is that? Oh my God. I can't. Even I Penny's know. not okay with Penny this. Penny can do better. <laughs> hey guys, thank you. It's been fun. Yeah, thanks. Should we invite him to the party? No, just keep walking. He must be very skilled at coitus. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, the only way to feel better about Penny going out with other guys is for you to get back on the horse. I think you meant horse, but... Horse. What? The phrase is get back on the horse, not yeah. whores. <laughs> That's disgusting, dude. You sure they say they can find a match for anybody. 
Have they found a match for you? Oh, tons. I've had like eight dates in the last month. And 12 if you count the ones who showed up and left. Oh my God. I can't bring the nitrogen tank down. Why not? All right, let me restate that. It's very heavy and I don't want to. <laughs> I'll help you. Thank you. You know what would be fun? Signing Sheldon up for online dating. <laughs> oh no. No, no, think about it. We make it an experiment. Like, like when Frankenstein's monster was lonely and he found a wife. Didn't they make that they wife? Find a wife. They built him a wife. I was gonna say. Part. What kind of knock is that? <clears throat> Damn you, you rat bastard! Why? Are you drunk? Zach was a perfectly nice guy, and then you ruined him. How did I ruin him? What? In the olden days, I never would have known you as so stupid. <laughs> Come on, he wasn't that stupid? Yes, he was! He thought you were gonna blow up the moon! <laughs> okay, yeah, he's stupid. <laughs> he spent the entire night bragging about how he invented the word appetizers. You have destroyed my ability to tolerate idiots. Now come with me. Where are, we Where are you going? We're gonna have sex! <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, that's a little... That's a little... What's going on? <laughs> In what universe is this low pulp? <laughs> Good morning, Penny. When one gets beaten up every other day in school, one of necessity develops a keen sense of hearing. <laughs> Incidentally, one can get beaten up in school simply by referring to oneself as one. <laughs> My noise canceling headphones proved ineffective last night. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry about that. As a native Texan, I must say I've never heard the phrase yeehaw used in quite that context. <laughs> it has to be the worst day of my life. Literally, that, that corner was burned. Good morning, Leonard. How many times have I asked you not to do that? Counting this instance, 317. Oh my god. Are you expecting me to offer an explanation of human behavior? <laughs> no, I just thought as I know that's absurd. I'd be able to provide a fresh perspective. <laughs> no. Well, I have no difficulty believing you are not butter. Last night was fun, huh? Yeah, it must have been. I just threw up in my closet. Oh my god. Bummer. Anyway, I was thinking tonight maybe we could catch a movie. Um, uh, yeah, tonight's not great for me. It doesn't have to be tonight. I'm free pretty much always. No, 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 you're not getting Leonard, it. Last night was a mistake. I'm sorry. I, I was drunk. I was lonely. I hated Zach. Can we just forget it ever happened? No, it's pretty well imprinted on my brain. <laughs> Especially the whole rodeo thing. Oh, God. <laughs> so that's it? Wham, bam, thank you, Leonard? Morning, Mrs. Gunderson. Good morning, Leonard. <laughs> or should I say... Yeehaw. <laughs> oh god. I keep forgetting there's other people in this apartment complex. Like, they never get seen. Sight match a woman with Sheldon. Oh my god. An actual woman? Yeah, look. Breasts and everything. Trust me, breasts doesn't necessarily mean woman. <laughs> Since when? I'll show you a picture of my Uncle Louie in a bathing suit sometime. <laughs> Leonard, what are you talking about? I don't want to talk about it. That was a lousy suggestion. <laughs> Whatever. Right now, Dr. Sheldon Cooper has to send an email to his perfect match. Greetings, fellow life form. <laughs> what the hell? Whose apartment is this? I can't do it. Who is Hello? it? Oh, it's Leslie. Oh, hi, hi. hi, Leslie. <laughs> Leonard Hofstadter, what are you doing here? Why are there so uh, many books? Uh, not bad. Uh, do you remember um, when we used to have sex and you said that it didn't mean anything, it was just for fun? Yeah. Do you want, want to do that again? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Blondie dumped you? She didn't dump me. We were just in different places in the relationship. <laughs> right. So what do you say? <laughs> Let me think no. about it. Oh my god. She's not coming back. <laughs> I'd laugh if she uh -oh. actually did. She wants like... to meet us. Uh-oh. Us, him. Yes, but him doesn't even know about her. 
Well, I'm about to find out about her. Really? Us gonna tell him? Your surprise confuses me. I live here. <laughs> right. Uh, so, listen, <clears throat> what are you doing tomorrow afternoon? Be more specific. 4.30. That's not afternoon. That's pre-evening. Saturday night is laundry night, so I'll be spending the pre-evening pre-sorting and pre-soaking. <laughs> Okay, what if I were to tell you tomorrow at 4.30 you could meet a woman who has been scientifically chosen to be your perfect mate? Information into this dating site, answered all their questions just like you would, and they found a match for you. Her name is Amy Farrah Fowler. Please, even assuming... Why have I heard that name before? ...the way I would, the algorithms used by matchmaking sites are complete hokum. I said no, our Sheldon would say hokum. <laughs> Come on, where's your scientific curiosity? Well, most of it is being applied to unraveling the secrets of the universe, while the rest of it's wondering why I'm having this conversation with you. <laughs> Even Spock had a date once every seven years. He didn't date. It was pawn far. His blood boiled with mating lust. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I've been toying with the idea that Sheldon was actually asexual. Like... I didn't think he, or a romantic, one of the two, like I just, he just doesn't seem to have an interest in anybody really, not men, not women, not anything. So I was just toying with the fact that he just wasn't involved in any of that. That's fine too. Sheldon. <laughs> I've hidden the dirty sock from the roof somewhere in your apartment. Oh my God. <laughs> Unless you're willing to come with us to meet this girl, it will remain there forever. Curse you. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Leonard, buddy. No. <laughs> Dirty feet. Oh. I was a perfectly happy, geeky, little lonely guy. And you <laughs> ruined me. What the hell? Are you drunk? Come on. We're gonna have sex and it's not gonna mean a thing. I don't Are think that's how mind? that works. See, I didn't like it either when Penny did it, but you know. I it... think there's a double standard here. <laughs> Few minutes when I gloat over the failure of this enterprise, how would you prefer I do it? The standard I told you so? With a classic neener neener? Or just my normal look of haughty derision? <sighs> <laughs> Excuse me? I'm Amy Farrah Fowler, you're Sheldon Cooper. Oh. Hello, Amy Farrah Fowler. I'm sorry to inform you that you have been taken in by unsupportable mathematics. Only. She looks like a female version I'm of him. Being blackmailed with a hidden dirty sock. If that was slang, I'm unfamiliar with it. <laughs> if it was literal, I share your aversion to soiled hosiery because my mother and I have agreed that I will date at least once a year. Oh my God. My mother and I have the same agreement about church. <laughs> I don't object to the concept of a deity, but I'm baffled by the notion of one that takes attendance. Now, before this goes any further, you should know that all forms of physical contact up to and including coitus are off the table. Oh, my God. May I buy you a beverage? <laughs> Tepid water, please. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. What did I just watch? Good God, what have we done? <laughs> Oh, it ends like this? What? You can't do that. All right. Well, that was the end of season three, everybody. Gotta say, <laughs> Sheldon is on his way. <laughs> Sheldon is doing something that I didn't think we'd ever see him do. He actually went on a date. And yeah. <laughs> but I know he, I've read your comments on there about Sheldon and not Sheldon, uh, Penny and Leonard. And I agree. We're probably going to end up seeing a lot of this on and off stuff, and I'm going to get really uncomfortable with it because I think it's toxic. I'm really starting to see that. Like, I hate to say that it is because they're two of my favorite characters, but I, I can see the dynamic being toxic. It just doesn't seem healthy for either of them to be involved in each other's lives in any capacity if they can't date or they can't be romantic, and they clearly can't just be friends. Like, they've tried it. Um, which is really hard after you date somebody and you break up with them or they break up with you Like it's hard to go back to that friendship standard But if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my patreon Go ahead and look for the link down the description of this video. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me And I will see you all next time. Remember everybody stay totally terrific. Bye